Welcome, this is Minute with the Mayor. I'm Arlene Bornstein here with our Mayor, Dean Trantalis. Thank you so much for being here, Mayor. Happy to be here. You're taking some time out of your hard work to talk to us a little bit about the budget. The last hearing is this week, and so we'll know more, but so far, some good things in the works. So the, the staff and commission have worked together and have really been able to put together a, a budget that I think the community is really gonna be happy about. In addition to paying for all the services, police, fire, uh, which take up about 50% of the whole budget, but we also are able to move forward with our stormwater projects. All the neighborhoods that became flooded, especially during the floods in, in April, we're moving fast forward on trying to move those projects forward and, and, and get those neighborhoods to a point where they can feel safe and they can they can drive through them without the fear of flooding. Uh, we're also moving forward on all the parks rehabilitation and, and trying to look for new properties that we can include in our park system. So. Uh, a lot's going on, and we're very happy about this budget. You made a great point that you didn't raise the military rate Correct. again, which made headlines. Well, and uh, it's something that we should be very proud of because not not having to raise the millage rate, uh, at least people who have save our homes and and know that their their homesteaded properties will not go up in in uh, value as much as say a non homesteaded property. It makes people feel safe in their homes and still be able to benefit from the from the services and the amenities that we're able to provide our community. Right, lots of great uh, commission priorities. Public safety, homelessness was addressed. Yes, we've, uh, we've actually increased 14 new uh, officers in our police department. We've added 10 new firefighters. Uh, three of those police officers are gonna be devoted strictly to homeless outreach uh, because we feel that the homeless situation in Fort Lauderdale needs to be even further addressed than it already is, and, uh, and we, it's a priority of this commission. Uh, but there are also exciting things too. Uh, we have uh, Carter Park Summer Jams coming up, yeah. uh, plus the lighting ceremonies as the holiday season approaches us. Uh, all these are great community things that uh, I think we can be excited about. I love it. Fort Lauderdale is such a great, fun city, and we have a whole magazine about it. It's called Yes, FTL, FTL Connect. Connect. Uh, <laughs> okay. Our second version is coming out in the next yeah. few weeks. The hard copy will be delivered in your homes, and it talks about all the things that uh, will be happening in the city, not, not only just the special events, but also the projects that the, uh, the, the city is working on, the public works projects, the parks projects, all the things that I just spoke about will all be outlined in that magazine. Yeah, and what's exciting is, like you said, it'll go straight to your door, but you can also check it out now on uh, fortlauderdale.gov slash FTL Connect. Great. fortlauderdale.gov slash FTL Connect. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for being here, Mayor. Thank we'll you. We'll let you get back to work. Great. <laughs>